Oh, uh, where do I begin? Okay, I have some good news and some bad news about the Digimon World playthrough. During this week that's just gone past, I was re um, playing on my saved file between parts, you know, non-recording the footage to learn some new moves for Agroth. But I also wanted to listen to something on YouTube, so what I decided to do was I turned off the sound for the emulator so I could play the game while listening to stuff on you on the internet. But what the g emulator didn't tell me was that if I save stated without the sound on, I literally lost all sound. So when I next turned it on with the sound of the emulator back on, there's no sound for the game. No mute, no background music, no effect noises, nothing. So that left me with footage with no noise and would have been simply me commentating over it, which I think is bullshit. Background noises are some of the things that you hear in the playthrough and it just would have really lost some of the um, atmosphere if you get me. Of course, so basically that file was screwed. I couldn't use it. But because I didn't want to just abandon the playthrough, I decided to start all over again. I literally got a new file and played back to the points we had got up to. Of course, I had didn't, I wasn't able to get an ultimate this time around, but and it took me a lot longer. But I have got back to the place that I had originally got to. All the prosperity points we had earned and all the Digimon we had recruited into the city, I was able to get back. So the footage you're about to see is the, the new Agroff, so to speak. And we're going to just simply continue from where we left off. I hope you understand. I am Ace of Space to Win. Welcome back to part 15 of the Digimon World playthrough. And I'm sure you already know the situation now. So, this is the new Agroff, a uh, Devimon I trained up. Of course, his stats aren't as good as Metal Mummymon's were, but his moveset is uh, certainly a lot better. Not only do we have Megaton Punch, I was able to learn Mega Spark and Spinning Shot. Two lovely additions to my roster. And of course, there is one good thing about starting over, is the fact, now that I have a virus tap Digimon, we can go into a Grey Lord's Mansion earlier than I, than I anticipated. If any of you are wondering about how to get a Devimon, you first have to uh, Digivolve into an Angimon, which you can get from Patamon when you have a thousand MP, a hundred brains, and you have no care mistakes, so you've got to definitely keep that in mind. Then your Angemon has to have less than 50% discipline, and then he's got to die in a battle, you know, lose a heart, and there's a 50% chance of him turning into a Devimon. Gotta say, Devimon's a pretty cool Digimon to have. It's kind of funny how he looks a bit uh, chewy fad, if you understand what I mean. His head looks a lot bigger than his body in this game. Especially when you compare it to other humanoid Digimon like Angemon. He's a good example of that. Okay, let's get on with this. Oh, I'm still a bit pissed off about him to start over again, but I guess there's some good things about it and some not. Alright, you can't deny me this time. I just love the point of I like the music they have for this area. Ooh, very fancy. Somebody's got a bit of cash to spend. Ching Ching. How observant of you. Guess not. I guess we've got a mystery on our hands, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. So the first moment you get into the mansion, most of the doors you come across will be locked. Yep, no good. And the only door that will be available is this one in the corner. If your Digimon has toiletry needs, this is the toilet in the house they can reach. Huh, look at these jerks. Wonder if they know uh, Bakamon. It's a bit late for Halloween, you know, it was a few days ago. Silly trick or treaters. Of course, like a lot of uh, dungeon like areas, there's a lot of boxes to raid and pillage. Hooray for stealing other people's possessions! Must pick up shiny object. 
And it's not just any shiny object, we found the mansion key. So now all those locked doors are a thing of the past. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Your locks are no match for my key wielding powers. Actually, I better not push myself too far. I'm not a uh, Sora and the Keyblade. Christ. There's only one door you can't, can't actually open with a key, but that's for other purposes. Ooh, brain chip. Very nice. Oh! Is my dinner ready yet? <gasps> He's a cannibal! I think it's time to show off those new powers. Engage in epic combat. Alright, uh, look, there's Megalore Spark. I love that move. Silly, silly little bitch, your spinning shot is worthless. Check out my spinning shot. No, Patamon Ripoff can defeat my Devimon. Now run. This is going to be a lot of help, those moves, though. The stronger the moves, the, the uh, shorter the battles we can be, and the more I can fit into a video, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, the door we need to go through is this one. Well, look at that. Didn't even attempt to try and stop me. Some guard. I'm getting a uh, Frankenstein lab feel from all this. Creeper. Oh my god, these must be the Frankenstein monsters! Ah, I'm not doing anything. Must be... Unstabilized, I guess. Gotta love the enemies that don't move a fucking muscle when you get close to them. Oh, look at that restore, very nice. The the, the proper names are uh, Rockmon. They seem to be an adapted version of Frigimon's shell. I think the, the game designers have just been lazy and couldn't be bothered giving them a skin. Lazy fuckers. Oh god, what now? Uh Shit! Not again. You know what I love? When I fell off that 50 foot cliff, I didn't get a scratch, but falling through a little hole in the roof and he gets injured. Crazy. Oh yeah, one of the differences you'll notice in this playthrough is Devimon's sleep pattern. For most of this, well, while we still have Devimon, we're going to be playing a lot at night. Whether that'll be much of a problem, I don't think it will be, but... We'll see. There's still a lot to do in the digital world. Right, what's in here? That's clearly a study. Oh shit, it's a coffin. Frankenstein Laboratories. A coffin. This can only mean one thing. Oh my fucking god, it's Dracula! You don't belong in this world. Castlevania reference, even though I've never played the game. Oh shit! It's my Otis man. A, a dramatic change from the series, I might add. Food. Oh, we're not falling for this again. Kareem one tried that stunt. He really wants meat. Yeah, I bet you want meat. Flesh of the living. Vampire prick. A fridge king. Oh, he wants us to get something from his fridge. Well, I guess that's not too bad then. I wonder if uh, my oldest one is the Dracula kind of vampire who is more like the uh, Count from Sesame Street. Six, six bats. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I doubt it. So, of course, we just exit from the door that's in the other room. Will the knob open? Don't you mean will the knob move? Oh, I forget it. Gotta say, I love this mansion. Very classy. Okay, join me in part 16 when we uh, finally help my autism on. Till next time.